I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. The purpose of this exercise is to practice decision making during the Charleston. The Charleston is a time when you can improve your starting hand by building around the strength of that hand. If you make the right decisions at the right time, you have a high probability of completing that hand before anybody else. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls with the Charleston. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, 13 tiles, then 14 tiles. I will also create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have three jokers, a north, one, two, three, seven in dots with a pair of sevens, one, two, three, four bam, and a one crack. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? I would discard the north for sure. This would be the strength of the hand because it's a multiple, but look at all these one through four tiles. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one. Because there's a huge predominance there, I would let the sevens go. Either that or play maybe one, three, five, seven, nine, the very first hand. We could also maybe play one, three, five, the concealed hand, leaving these to discard. So you might think because we have such a predominance that that would be the stronger start. But really American Mahjong is a game of multiples. So we're going to start with the multiples and play odds. We'll even keep that one. We're going to build around the multiple and pass Let's see, we could pass those three right there. There's a flower. We have a five and a dragon. So if we're building around the seven, we could play one, three, five, either in cracks, bams, dots, concealed. So we could maybe let those go. One, three, five, one, three, five, five, seven, nine. These would be for the nines. Let's pass these three. We've got a one. We don't need a pair of ones. Let's let the one go. I was thinking maybe I should have kept that red dragon for a quint. We'll see what we get. We got a seven and a six. Now we have a pung in there. Here's a nine bam and a south. At this point, I would reassess, maybe switch to consecutive run. Consecutive run, and I would pass these three. There's a nine, here's five, five, six, seven, nine, one, two, three. That's a little bit risky. Six, seven, nine. We have a gap, no eight. There is a hand, six through nine with flowers. This would be a pair, single pair, pung the eight, kong the nine. I want to leverage that, so I would discard that and break up the one, two, three. There's a five and an eight. 
we have a one nine single pair Pung Kong with flowers. There are no gaps there. Single pair Pung Kong that would leverage the seven. That's the six hand down under consecutive run. We've got a five, five, six, seven, eight. Here we have the red dragon back. Maybe we could play the quint. If we get the red dragon. Five, six, seven, eight. There's a quint with quint, pair, pair, quint. Or we could play the second hand down under consecutive run, which would be Kong, pair, Kong. Let's let the, let's see. Let's pass two for optional cross. We got the red dragon back. We could maybe play the quint. Five flowers, quint, kong. I would hold those and wait and just gather because we could play single pair pung kong. I would start by discarding that. If we build up the five and the eight, we could play the fourth quint. Quint, pair, pair, quint. Or we could play the quint with dragons and sevens. If you make a mistake in the Charleston, there's a chance to get your tile back. We have no jokers, no flowers, number tiles, no winds or dragons even, one, six, nine in dots, singles, one, four, five, eight, nine in bams, pairs of fours and eights. We have three, four, seven singles in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would focus on multiples, four and eight. Four, eight are evens, but we have no twos. We do have a six and a four, so I would keep those. Then I would come up with a plan B because we have a lot of discards. We could either support the fours or the eight. I think what I would do is support the fours because we have only one eight. We've got a four right there. So let's keep five and three. We could either play evens or consecutive one, run three through six. Let's pass one of each suit. We got an eight. That is a pung. That's gonna carry more weight in decision making than a pair. So I would reassess and focus on evens or consecutive run six through nine, seven, eight, nine, let's let the one and the three go. There's a flower and a north and a south. 
I don't think the north and south are helpful with an eight. There's a hand that uses winds with number tiles, but the winds are east and west with evens and north and south with odds. So I wouldn't hold on to those. I would break them up. I, I try not to pass two wins together. We could still play two, four, six, eight or consecutive run. There's an east. If we get other easts and wests, we might be able to do east and west with eights, but this is a pung. We only need a pair, so I would let it go. I would keep the six though for two, four, six, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine. Four, six, eight. I think I would probably. Let the nine go. Because we could do four, five, six, seven, eight in mixed suits. Fifth hand down if we can get seven dots. We got a seven bam. Here's a four crack. South and green. We have four, seven, eight, and a six. Four, six. There is a hand that uses flowers to eight in one suit, four, six in the middle. And that twos would be a pung. We could use jokers for that. This would use both multiples. I think what I would do here is maybe keep the green and the eight, pass those. The other thing I was thinking is we could do like numbers with fours. We have two pair there. Since we have a gap with no two, let's let, ooh, I was gonna say let's let the six go, but then we have like numbers with sixes. That's almost like passing a pair, so I wouldn't do that. I think I would give up on the seven. Let's pass these three. Whoa, pair. So like numbers with fours or eights. We have a pung of eights, so I would let the fours go. We do have though four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, dot, eight, bam. Or we could do like numbers with eights and dragons. Four, eight. I would not pass these all together like that. So what I would do here is probably focus on the eights and break these up. Maybe pass these three. That's still pretty risky. Six and nine. Here's another eight. Like numbers with eights. I would let those go. One of each suit. Like numbers. I would break that up. Pass these three for optional cross. We have a seven. Three, four, five, seven. All right, so we have like numbers with eights. We would definitely be an underdog for this because we have six discards. But if we play like numbers with eights, there are two hands that would use these multiples and we have no gaps. I would hold that dragon because if we get white dragons, we could play like numbers with eights and dragons. So I would hold that and discard these. Probably discard the seven first, then the three, and hold the middle numbers. Those will most likely be in exposures with jokers. So I would discard the outside tiles first. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine.
That could have gone either way with fours or eights. We have a Joker North Green and White Dragon, 6-9 BAM, singles, 1-4-5-6-8, pairs of 1s and 4s and cracks, and a single 8 dot. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? I would focus here. One four. There's only one hand really that can use both pairs, and that would be one through five in one suit. But I would hold the six, really all consecutive numbers, four through six probably. Four, five, six off suit dragons. I would pass those. So we have three, four, that's consecutive in our range. We have one through six, which is really, really long. That's a, a long range. We wouldn't be able to use the one. Now we could do three through six, three, four, five, six in mixed suits even. We have tiles we can pass there, but we do have potential for four, five, six with dragons. Four, five, six, three, four, six. I think I would let that six go. We have a six. We just let that go. We have tiles we can pass. We got a dragon and a four. Three, four, four, five, six, dragon and white. We have a discard there. I think what I would do at this point is let the ones go. Four, five, six, dragon. Like numbers with fours, maybe. I would let this three go. Focus on the fours or four, five, six, dragon. There's a red dragon. And we have tiles we can pass. I would just keep the dragons. We could maybe play like numbers with fours and dragons. Here's a two, five, seven. We're on last right, so we have to make a choice. Two, four, six, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, dragons. I think I would let these go. Four, five, six, dragons or like numbers with fours we could also do like numbers with fours this way maybe just pass two we got a flower like numbers with fours or four, five, six dragons. We wouldn't use this though. So we have three, six, seven, eight versus eight. We're in the middle. Now this four, five, six consecutive tiles with dragons is a higher point hand. Four, five, six dragons or like numbers with fours and dragons. 
we have no gaps, and we can use jokers. I think I would pass fully and focus on this hand here. Four, five, six dragons. Either that or pass one and straddle two hands. No sixes were in there, and I don't recall other dragons being in there. So if we passed fully, I don't think we would get those tiles. I think I would pass one. So we have a discard there. And we are in between like numbers with fours and dragons or four, five, six dragons. We do have joker bait one way or another. I would discard that and then see what comes in. And focus on this concealed hand. Four, five, six dragons. If fours came in or dragons, the red dragon built up and the flowers, I would switch to like numbers with fours. But if the six came in and we built up these tiles beyond pairs and a single there, then I would focus on the concealed hand. The concealed hand in that last iteration is a challenging hand because it requires dragons. And with cracks, you need green dragons and white dragons. Because of the year category using two white dragons, the likelihood of getting a white dragon is pretty slim. So I decided to keep plan B with like numbers, with fours, with or without dragons. If you are light in dragons, or even if you have a gap with dragons, have a plan B. You might need it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers. Okay.